Today is um, the 8th of April 2024 and this will be our third video on circle theorem okay um, thank you everyone who have subscribed okay thank you so much um, please subscribe share like and follow okay if the video is helping you it is just okay to share it subscribe to it so that we can get more people uh, and if the account is not yours please ask permission from the account holder okay don't misuse other people's accounts okay um, please follow my no slash script you always see it in the comment section okay in circle theorem because uh, it has angles okay there are a lot of twists and turns so it's better you follow my notes to see my thinking pattern okay uh thank you very much for that too. and beware of scammers please beware of scammers okay they are online they will take your phone number and call you a lot of things we are in a, a very very uh for some reason strange world world now so beware of scammers okay even if somebody is talking to you at the end of the other phone you don't know whether they are robots because when you ask them a question they fall apart they can't even answer simple questions okay so um beware of scammers don't give information to people you do not know okay uh recap please watch last video for recap the last video was i think on the first of april okay this was supposed to be on the second but um it was holidays so i thought um let me just um leave it okay so this is the follow on from the last video okay so if you watch last video for because at the moment i want to give you as many examples as possible whilst i cover some topics okay and i hope you are revising as well i started today we are doing circles so i thought i'll bring a question of circle theory okay so this is the uh sorry this is the diagram i have for you okay we know that um i think we have eight theorem or nine theorem i don't really uh look at that bit but the more you solve questions the easier it's easy to apply because it's like okay this and this are equal so this point um that is a tangent and that's a tangent okay so they have um equal length okay so let's see what the question says the if the question says rqt so let's find rqt r is the q is the and t is here rqt is 60 degrees okay that is all we've been given so now this time we have to find pqr so p q r okay so we they've given us this one sixty. So since this is a tangent, that will be seventy. So if this is sixty, then that will be thirty. So P Q R okay is thirty there. Okay, that one here. Okay, it wasn't given. I had to write it there because that is the first one we are supposed to find. 
now p r t this angle here at r p r the one p r t so p r t so here if um that is 30 okay then and that one so if you add both in this triangle here it should be 180 okay so if this is 30 and that's 60 then that's 90 okay but here look at it it forms a tangent this uh, angle here so that will be 90 that will be 60 so if you add them both you get 150 okay so p here r t so p r t that whole angle here okay not just to this point the whole of this angle here is 150 okay so i hope you take note of that so that's the first that is our our starter now the second one a bit like a proof question okay now i wanted to say to you at times you might be writing or saying something and that that is not what how you meant it to come out okay and the exam condition make sure what you are thinking is what you are writing it's very important okay so if you think this is 90 make sure you are writing 90 okay because under pressure there is a way a, 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 you, you can be thinking 90 and then you end up writing 60 it happens all the time in exams okay the examiner is not in your head okay what you write is what they are going to mark so make sure what you are thinking is exactly what you are writing so relax and take as much uh, time as you want with the question if you get that question right you get the, all the marks and as we have also always said you don't need to answer all the questions to get a star okay Th that is why they will say you should get 100 percent okay it's not realistic okay because no one is perfect okay now if b a p is x that angle here is x okay so if this angle is x straight away one of the theorem this angle here is also x that one here okay and b t p that angle here is y okay so this angle is x that angle is y and we've used the theorem to say that angle is x if this is a tangent then that will be 90 so this angle here will be 90 minus x for the whole three angles in the triangle to be 180 okay i hope we understand that uh so we've done our di diagnosis on that these uh, angles are not to scale okay so they said a p b is 90 okay now if everything i've said so far is true then b a p which they said is x okay now p b a that one here this angle here is 90 minus x for you to get the whole thing to be 180 that will be the first one or we can say p b t is 90 
plus x this exterior angle here okay so if that is x that will be 90 plus x okay so we've got that okay but i'm going to use p b a this one here to be 90 plus x t b p here the angle here okay is x i've told you why if the interior angle is x then the exterior one here is also x okay so now x this one plus y will be 90 minus x okay it's because if you have um these two angles they should add up to this one here okay so x plus y should be equal to 90 minus x okay whichever way you look at it okay so please follow my diagram here okay i hope you are clear on that now we are supposed to prove y equals 90 minus 2x so immediately we have that we are going to make y this subject so 90 minus x if we bring the x to this side we have y equals that y 90 minus x that one here and then minus x because we've established that this x plus y will be equal to 90 minus x okay so now we have y equals 90 minus 2x so we've proved it with three simple steps okay so that is your diagram okay that is the question here that is the diagram okay and that is the solution okay so please go and have a look okay i'll also look at it again and see if there's another way of proving this and maybe i might bring it to an, a starter okay so for now if you have x plus y here okay or this x plus y will be equal to 90 minus x okay because we've proved that p b a is 90 minus x okay so it gets fair on this same straight line to say x plus y will be equal to 90 minus x okay so um this is our proof so immediately you set this equation right then y equals 90 minus 2x okay now the third one which i think is fairly easy okay because we saw a more difficult question in some of the possible questions we solved earlier on even without knowing some of this theory so another example b c e that angle here is 70 okay so find a c b so a c b this angle here okay if that is a tangent then the whole of this is 90 so if this is 70 then this one will be 20. so a c b is 20. now b a c we want this angle now as we saw earlier if this is 70 the interior at the circumference that will be the exterior is then this is also 70 okay 
or 20 add 90 plus something will give you 180 so that will be one um, as well so either this angle at A and that exterior angle is the same you can use that or you use the triangle and then you say that um, 20 plus 70, 20 plus 90, then you take it from 180, okay, which I have done here, okay, so this is what I got for that one, okay, okay. so that is the second example I have for you. The third example, which we've seen before, okay, we've seen before, okay, so O is the center, A, B, C are points on the circumference, okay, C, A, B is 30 degrees, so find the angle B, so C, B, A, that angle here is easy. If that is 30 and that is 90, then that will be 60. Okay. So 90 minus 30 will give you 60. The fourth example, this is also easy. Okay. So all here is the center. A B, C is the point on the circumference. Now, A, O, B is 120. That is the angle at the center. So find A, C, B. If you find A, C, B, it will be half of 120, which is 60. Okay. Or you will say that um, yeah, that is, I think, the straightforward answer. Assuming you were supposed to find the angle at O, then it, you, you see O as a circle now. So you take 360 from 120, which would be 240. Okay. So at the moment, this is what I have for you today. Okay. Um... I would uh, look at this question again and see if there's an easier way to um, make you buy. I think for now, that is how uh, I can see it to prove y equals 90 minus 2x. Okay, but I'll keep on thinking about it and maybe bring it again and we'll discuss it in another starter session just to make sure that uh, you understand it but go and have a good look okay and see if my analysis is right they've given you x they've given you y the only way this can be 90 minus x is when you use this as triangle as a triangle so if this is 90 and that's x that'll be 90 minus x okay we are working towards showing that y equals 90 minus 2x if they said 180 minus 2x then maybe we might have to do something else to make sure that 90 is in our equation so immediately we got 90 minus x we need to look for the other x okay so the only way we can see that i can see that here is x plus y will be equal to 90 minus x which you agree with me okay so this 90 minus x will be equal to x plus y okay so x plus y so if i move the x to the other side then i can get y equals 90 minus 2x because always look if you have a proof question 
look at the what you are proving and work towards it is that okay so um yeah i'll leave today here now um please subscribe like share follow okay if you like our channel that is the only way we can keep on circulating on the platforms okay and f please follow my news last script this is the question i've just gone over follow my notes look at the thinking button okay and take care of yourself online don't be scammed okay thank you so much for joining me today and i'll see you in the next